Hey everybody, I'm the Frosty Four. Welcome back to Back to the Future. This is episode three. So in the last episode, we got Trixie Trotter to turn on Kid Tannen, and we were able to fix that line, but then something happened with uh, Doc Brown. He wound up with Edna, and it looks like he's not a scientist anymore. So let's jump in. It kind of made me wonder if uh, maybe being with Edna made him being really controlling. Because she was, you know, always in her uh, window when she was really old, yelling at people, telling them not to drink or smoke cigarettes or whatever. What is this? Oh, oh that's right, because this is 86. Is that what a prisoner looks like? Relax, we have everything under control. That's what the sign says. Episode 3, Citizen Brown. But I feel like this town is more run by Edna, though, even though it has his face on it. But what is he holding in his hand? Looks like a banana. And how do we still have a DeLorean? Is that going to be a plot hole, or is that going to be something that we're going to have explained to us? Because if Doc isn't a scientist, then why would we have that? I'm performing community service for vandalism. Okay. Yeah. What? Um. Don't worry, everybody. I'm okay. The billboard broke my fall. Yeah. Okay. Delinquent rocker chick? This is the dumbest design ever. Yeah, what's the fuck? Uh. Hello? She can't hear me. Well, maybe if you'd fucking yell and I'd just speak quietly. Okay, so what do I have in my inventory? A flask, a newspaper. What is this? Hell Valley crime rate, all-time low. Okay. I don't have a whole lot here. Okay. I gotta get out of this death trap. Yeah, I know. Let me take a look. Oh, a horn? Around. What the hell? Hey, could you give me a Jennifer? Could you give me a Jennifer? Oh. She kind of went rough. Uh, Jennifer, I need some help. Martin, it is you. Is that a DeLorean? Uh, yes. Uh, well, yeah, it's a DeLorean. What else would it be? How the hell did it get into the billboard like that? Uh, never mind that. Just give me a hand, okay? Uh, you don't need to patronize me. So who are you supposed to be? Luke or Bo? This isn't funny, Jennifer. Uh, what are you doing? What are you doing down there? Not that you'd ever understand it, but I'm doing my part to support the arts in Hill Valley. Anyway, what's the technical term for attempting to jump your DeLorean through a billboard? Where did you even get a DeLorean? Is it stolen? That's a little complicated. I bet. What's the date? Oh, man. What's the date? What? That's something I should be asking you. You've probably wrecked your head. Just, what's the date, Jennifer? It's the 15th. The year. 1986. Duh. Oh, man. Oh, man. This can't be happening. Hey, at least turn the... Uh, you've changed. Jennifer, you look so... different. That's the general idea of being a nonconformist. That's not what I meant. What are you getting at? Uh... Your... Uh, hair? What'd you do to your hair? Helter Skelter. What? It's the same hair dye I always use. Matches her eyes, I guess. Never mind. Never mind. I gotta get out of this car. Good idea. All right. Well, can you help me can out? You help me down. Why don't you just jump? I'll break my neck. And a turd. Okay. You got any rope you can toss me? Uh-uh. All I have is this rusty wrench thing I found in the dirt. 
A wrench thing? I think that'll do. Toss it here. Oh, is that from 1931? Off, Martin. This is my witch it. What do you give me for it? Wouldn't you like to know? May I please have the tire iron? The tire who? The big metal thing you're holding. Oh, right. As soon as you offer up a decent trade. Oh. Oh, okay. Hang on. All right. Let me think this through. Don't How about that strain flask? your brain, Geekzilla. I'll give her the flask. Get her trashed, and then she'll give it to me. Here you go. Jennifer! This is all I got. Is there anything in it? No. Give me here. Some uh, super ass smells old Smells like whiskey. armpits and booze. Irving Kid Tannen, the gangster? Where the hell did you get this? It's a long story. Can I just have the tire iron now? Heads up! Thanks! Uh, good thing he caught it. Oh, great. Now what? Oops. Great. Well, that was a stupid oh. design. Oh, better keep the book. That hasn't disappeared for some reason. The movie ticket disappeared, but not the book. Well, your dorkness, my debt to society is paid. As for you, good luck with your car. Way to stick it to Big Brother. Just don't expect your sudden cry for attention to change anything between us, dig? Doesn't change what? Look, Jennifer, I think there are some things we need to talk about. Hey, maybe you can give me a lift into town. Oh, sure, Martin. Climb on in. Jennifer, where I saw that coming. You we're through, McFly. I'll never take such a square again. My own girlfriend thinks I'm a square? Jesus, could this get any worse? We are wearing a life jacket. I'm just saying. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't go towards it. I think we're fucked, guys. You idiot. That was pathetic. That was fucking pathetic. Doc, I could really use your help right about now. Relax. We've got everything under control. That's really creepy. Really creepy. And what's up with this tire? Why is it like jiggling? Well, at least one of the hover wheels work. Oh, right. Because it's a hover car. Okay. Dead. May 15th, 1986. Yeah, the, the date's right, but... That's yeah. not good. Yeah. Okay, well... Um... The wall, I guess? These walls couldn't possibly go around the entire city, could you, they? You underestimate his power. I mean, he's got a billboard with a nice haircut. Oh... Zombie apocalypse, maybe? How the hell know. do you get through these? You get super fucking thin. Oh, a squawk box. Uh, check, check. Sibilance, sibilance. Who is this? Stop messing with the intercom. Oh, haha, <laughs> hi. Can you buzz me in? Visitors must check in at the North Gate. Oh, North Gate? I'm not walking clear around Hill Valley. There's gotta be another way. Well, you had a flying car until you drove it into a fucking billboard. What the hell? Oh, I wonder if I can take that tire off and fly it? I mean, that sounds kind of weird, but... I kind of feel like that's... It's barely hanging on to the axle. Okay, so why don't I just take the tire iron take it off there? And what? Hover okay, good. fly it? This could be useful. Now think, Marty, think. Well, now that it's wheel. off the car, it looks like the power cables for the hover system have disconnected. What does that mean to me? Man, this is the second time I've completely destroyed Doc's time machine. I just shouldn't be allowed to drive it anymore. No, I definitely agree with that. Sorry. Oh, Mr. Fusion! I don't really feel qualified to repair a nuclear reactor. Yeah. It's still under warranty. 
Well, I guess technically it's way under warranty. Considering, uh, well, I guess he didn't invent it. Okay. 12 volts. Wait, this is the car battery? It must have been installed in 2015 with the Mr. Fusion. Still Probably. has plenty of juice. I'm just gonna say right now, it's 2016 and we don't, still don't have a Mr. Fusion. I'm kind of jealous. Okay. So let's see here. Get the battery, put it on the wheel. Let's see here. Red to positive, black to negative. You hope. I don't know how that shit works. Oh. And it's fine. Oh. Well, there it goes. Far out. It's a fucking UFO now. Okay, Doc, let's see what kind of nightmare alternate timeline I've landed in this time. Those notes should exist. I mean, am I wrong? The notes in the car should exist. Well, the car, I mean, it's DeLorean, but you shouldn't be able to fly it or go out back in time or forward in time. Okay, Marty. Nothing to be afraid of. It's just an alternate hill valley that's turned my girlfriend into a punk rock vandal. That doesn't mean it's full of post-apocalyptic biker gangs run by armies of Biff clubs. Just take a deep breath and remember, we gotta find Doc. This place is weird. It feels so weird. Whoa, that's really fucking creepy. You could be a Citizen Plus with the creepy eyes. It looks like Bioshock. Hill Valley Unity. So it's the exact same town, it's just remade in bricks. And with golf carts. Do they run on moonshine? It's so, so clean. Yeah. Good morning, citizen. Good morning to you too, citizen. It's a fucking cult. Edna? Is that fucking Edna? What's going on here, Doc? And will Doc even know who Marty is? Jeez, my Hill Valley never looked this good. Watch where you're going, citizen. Sorry. Mr. Parker! That's Officer Parker to you, Martin. Now what's with the outfit? I, uh... It's Thursday. Yeah? Polo shirt Thursday. You're out of uniform. That's a violation of Civic Ordinance 9 Triple E. And you're not wearing an ID in direct violation of Ordinance WB714. What are you up to, citizen? Polo shirt? Are you on the pot, citizen? Put your arms up. Spread your legs. Hey, wh what the are you pot? doing? Quiet. Hold still. Hmm. Nothing. What's your deal today, McFly? It looks like David from Life is Strange. Or the porn stash cop from, um, not a cop. The security guard from Orange is the New Black. Um. Uh, can you tell me where I can find Doc, uh, Citizen Brown? Are you sure you're an honor student? Where do you think he is at this time of day? At work? That's right. Working at the courthouse. Oh, there's fucking little Einsteins on the top of the courthouse. Heavy. Um... Hey, what's with the pat down? What do you think, I'm packing heat? Heat? Contraband? Contraband? You know. Booze, smokes, bubblegum, dogs, circus bubble gum peanuts? Is illegal? Come on, McFly. You're smart enough to know that ignorance of the Civic Ordinance 2XM isn't an excuse. Uh, okay. Have you seen Jennifer? What's it to you? I thought she broke up with you. Yeah, well, I need to talk to her about that. Good luck finding her. I usually don't see her unless she's racking up demerits for her art. 
Since when are you a cop? I thought you were a shoe salesman. Are you on something? I've always been a cop. Just like my pa. Great. I've turned my girlfriend's dad into a cop. I've got to finish my beat. Are you going to make trouble for me today? No. No. No what? No, no sir. sir. That's right, citizen. <laughs> Fucking citizen. Citizen McFly. Oh, what's all this? What's all this shit? Recycle. I'm all for recycling, but this is out of control. Uh... Wait, this is the courthouse? Whoa, look at that camera up there. That shit's watching me, man. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Nothing, I'm just standing here. Loitering, huh? Really, dude? What is this? It's a demerit. No loitering. So get a move on, citizen. You're a you gotta be dick. kidding. Okay, well. In Valley Courthouse, how may I help you, citizen? I need to see Doc, or uh, Citizen Brown. Do you have an appointment? Uh, no, but. Then I'm afraid you'll have to wait your turn. Citizen Brown's a very busy man. That voice sounds familiar. What the fuck do you think it is? It's a fancy little golf cart. Oh my god. Oh my yeah. god. What the Dunk? fuck? <laughs> Good lord. Stop. Wait, I need to talk to you. Cause he wouldn't even know Marty. Cause that he he came from the young young dude. Young dude. Wait, wait, wait. Can I go over here and talk to Biff? Oh, there he is. Citizen Plus program? Biff? Hey, you're you're George and Lorraine's youngest. Martin, right? Martin. What? You don't know me? Only by reputation. Brown Cadet of the Month, three months running. Impressive. Are you interested in the Citizen Plus program? What Citizen Plus? What is this Citizen Plus? It's Citizen Brown's new re-education program, and I'm the first of Hill Valley Citizen Plus. Uh, pluses. Plus I? A re-education program? What the hell? Please don't swear, Martin. It makes me uncomfortable. Um, nice clothes. You lose a bet or something? What do you mean? I'm wearing what everyone's wearing. It's Polo Shirt Thursday. You, my friend, are out of uniform. So I've heard. Yeah, well, there's always tomorrow. Hawaiian Shirt Friday. Great. Creepy. Listen, Biff, that car I saw you get out of, was that Doc Brown in there with you? Ah, Doc. That should be his new nickname. But yeah, that was Citizen Brown. What an inspirational guy. How'd you get FaceTime with him? He seems so busy. You got that right, Martin. Citizen Brown's a busy, busy guy. But fortunately, uh... Unfortunately, I'm a special case. See, Martin, I used to be a real bad apple. A real... butthead. You? A butthead? You, a butthead? No. What can I say, Martin? I was always getting into trouble. Too much trouble, what with the booze, the partying, the women. Even my dogs were a pack of trouble. Pack, get it? Hmm, uh, yeah. What does this have to do with Citizen Brown? Well, after getting in so much trouble, the authorities, they took me in to see Citizen Brown and gave me an ultimatum. Citizen Plus or Bust. That's kind of creepy. Like, what? what's the alternative there? I want to know more about Citizen Plus. And I just can't wait to tell you all about it. Did I mention the swell digital watch you get with the program? Swell. Uh, tell me about the watch. You said you get some sort of watch. Oh, it's a real classy deal. Just look at this state-of-the-art ticker. It's got all sorts of special modes programmed in. I still haven't figured out how to set the time, but I'm sure a smart guy like you could do it no problem. Hmm. So what's the point of Citizen Plus? Well, it may not be as noticeable for an upstanding citizen like yourself, but the hypnotherapy sessions help to tame the urges to break the rules. Hypnotherapy? Oh, whoa. 
Hypnotherapy? Well, sure, Martin. Why, it makes obedience automatic. Obedience? This is some kind of brainwashing? That's a good way to think about it. Stop <laughs> all those nasty thoughts right out of your noggin. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Okay, let's stop talking about Citizen Plus right now. <laughs> okay. So you won't break any rules anymore? Can't. The Citizen Plus treatment makes it physically impossible for me to break rules. How so? Now I get physically ill if I try to break a rule. That's fucking creepy. How's your re-education holding up? Still incapable and uninterested in breaking the rules. So that's why the cussing made him feel uncomfortable. I thought he was just being a pansy little shit. So how do we get out of here? Oh, how about a beer? Sure you aren't craving a beer? I do kind of miss beer. Uh, on second thought, blah. Interesting. Want to fight me? You used to be a real bruiser. That's all behind me now. So what? You wouldn't even defend yourself? I don't know if I could, actually. Wuss. Oh, you're just aching to find out, though. <laughs> oh, God! Don't torment me. I can get used to this. Please, Martin. Don't make me angry. All right, Biff. You're off the hook this time. See you later, Biff. Bye, Martin! Okay, so to get Doc Brown's attention, I need to be an asshole. That's what I got out of What's that. Jen up to now? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this episode on ice. So, uh, Citizen Brown, it sounds like Doc Brown got taken over by Edna. And uh, then they got married and she just was like, you know what, let's make a perfect, beautiful utopia where nobody can physically be capable of doing bad things. So that's really fucking creepy, the hypnotherapy and the weird watch that makes it so we can't do anything. That's really... Mm. Okay, so drop me down in the comments. Let me know what you thought about this. If you thought it was awesome, please hit like and subscribe for more videos for me. And I'll chill with you next time. But until then, stay frosty. What is that? Like, seriously, what is that?